Since I did this video of the ATEM Mini switch case, I've had loads of requests for the laser cut parts and the engraved panel on the rear. The problem is, this was a customer build with fixed requirements and using a particular case that's only easily available in the UK. So here is version two. Now, this is the same concept, everything in one neat case but it's designed to use this fantastic Nanook 915 case. And I've made all these laser cut parts available on my website so you can easily make your own. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. So here it is, the A10 mini switch case, version two. It's the same as the previous version that I made, but it's just much more suitable to build anywhere in the world. And it's not designed for a specific monitor. And I'll leave links in the description where you can get hold of these beautiful laser cut parts and a list of the other components that you'll need. Now, as you can see, this uses a different case. It's the Nanook 915 case that you can get pretty much anywhere. These Canadian cases are cheaper than Pelly cases and I think they're much better in all respects. Plus they come in a fantastic range of colors. You can even get camo if you want. Now I've built quite a few custom cases and orange is the most popular color, but black, silver, and yellow are right up there. Now the deck kit is made up from four parts. Let's see if I can get these in shot. You get this top plate that mounts the A10 Mini or a Mini Pro. You get a monitor plate. This is a back plate that fixes in the lid and it'll mount anything from about a five to a 10 inch monitor. And you get this bezel, which just hides all the wiring in the lid like that. And on the back, you've got this engraved panel that uh, holds all the extension cables for the A10 Mini or the Mini Pro. All pretty nice. And all these parts are cut from three millimeter acrylic covered in uh, this simulated carbon fiber vinyl. And the kit also contains all the mounting posi screws that you need for the top plate and for the lid and there's four screws that hold the monitor mounting plate onto the back of the lid. And there's already some little mounting points in the back there. So you're not gonna to have to drill any holes in this case. And I even provide you with this little template to help you mark out the back when you're cutting out the space for this panel. And like I said, you don't need to drill any holes in the case because these plates all mount on existing internal mounting points. And this rear panel has got cutouts for four HDMI inputs, two mic inputs, an HDMI output, the RJ45 network connection, USB, and a power connector. And these are just a duplicate of what's on the back of the A10 Mini. And you'll need to source some suitable extension cables like this. This is an HDMI cable. And you just connect those between the A10 Mini on the back panel here and the connectors on the back. All very simple. Now the only hard part in building this is cutting the hole in the rear of the back of the case. And like I said, I've provided this template so you can mark it up and cut it out and a Dremel's great for this but remember measure twice cut once you don't want to make a mistake so just take it nice and slow and then all you need to do is wire everything up you'll need to make a splitter cable for the power so that you can power the monitor and the A10 Mini from the same source and the A10 Mini fits into this front panel just slots in and there's some one millimeter foam around here, which is a little bit difficult to see. Let's have a look in here, if I can see it. There's some one millimeter foam that 
fits just round the inside there to make sure that's a nice snug fit and it won't move about or fall out easily especially when the connectors are all in this isn't hard fixed into the panel because you may want to take this out and you don't want to put any screws into here to hold it in place but if you want to you could put a small dab of hot glue underneath on the panel to hold it in place and if you're traveling with this then I suggest that you put a piece of foam in here to stop this falling out and clunking into the monitor now this bezel for the monitor it's got these 3d printed brackets so you can mount any monitor between about five inches and ten inches and it doesn't matter whether it's side mounting or top mounting you just swap these over and the brackets just fit slide to fit the monitor and the kit also includes a couple of quarter inch mounting bolts now the ATEM mini power supply that you get with the A10 Mini is 12 volts at one and a half amps and the actual current required for this is about 800 milliamps so depending on your monitor the A10 supply may power both the Mini and the monitor but if not you'll need to find a 12 volt 3 amp supply which will be plenty of power again there's loads of these on Amazon and this field world monitor is great value and it's pretty good quality Building this is really straightforward. Once you've cut out the rear panel, wiring everything up will only take you a couple of hours. And I've put links in the description to all the components needed to build this, including the laser cut panels and the hardware. Just drop me a comment if you've got any questions. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.